Welcome to Thursday Preschool. All right, let's get started with our circle time today. Today's gonna be a fun day because it's Thursday, which means art day. All right. So let's find out which number we're on next. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Great job. Does anybody know what 21 looks like? A two and a one. So let's put that right here. And we're gonna follow it up and it says Thursday. Wonderful, let's do our days of the week. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job, everybody. What month is it? May, good. You remembered. All right. So now that we've done that, let's keep on with our numbers and review our numbers again, one through 10, and try as we go through this to write the number in the air like we did yesterday. Remember, so this would be number one and you're gonna write a one, right? One, two, three, four, five, Seven, remember top line and slight slant, right? Seven, good. Eight was our snowman. Nine, and 10. Great job, everybody. So, we're gonna ask Billy the Duck to join us again for another rhyming music time. Five little peas, here we go. Five little peas. Sitting in a row, five little peas said, go, go, go. They rolled and rolled so far, far, far and rolled right into my pea pod jar. Yum. Okay, now it's Thursday, so who can tell us what four rhyming words? Row, go, and far jar. Great job, everybody, yay. Okay, so today, we're gonna go over our sounds. So last few days we've done what the letters are. Today we're gonna go over their sounds. Ready? A, 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 a. B, 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 b. C, k, k, k. D, 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 d. E, f, 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 f. G, 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 g. H, I, 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 J, 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 K, 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 L, U, M, N, N, O, A, 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 P, 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 Q, 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 R, R, S. T, ta, ta, ta. U, uh, uh, uh. V, 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 v. W, wa, wa, wa. X. Y, ya, ya, ya. Z, z. Great, everybody. Good job. All right, so today we're going to talk about flowers. What are two types of flowers that you might know? How about a rose? There's lots of those around. And sunflowers, we all love sunflowers. Okay, so we're gonna read a book about if you plant a seed, and then we're gonna do a flower art project today. How exciting. So today's book is If You Plant a Seed. So let's get started. If you plant a tomato seed, a carrot seed, and a cabbage seed, in time, with love and care, tomato, carrots, and cabbage plants will grow.
Mm. What do you think is happening? They had lots of fruits and vegetables. Do you think people are coming to see? Everybody's curious. They want to know. If you plant a seed of selfishness in a very short time, it will grow and grow and grow. into a heap of trouble. But if you plant a seed of kindness in almost no time at all, the fruits of kindness will grow and grow and grow. And they are very, very sweet. Great job, everybody. Let's head over to the art table so we can get ready for our flowers. So you're gonna need two coffee filters and a pipe cleaner and watercolor paints. All right, let's go have some fun with flowers. Okay, so we're back at the art table for our flower project. So like I said, you'll need coffee filters, scissors, pipe cleaner, and watercolor paints. All right, so you should have two coffee filters. So see how I have two? You're gonna leave them together and what you wanna do is fold them in half. So this is something from mom and dad or if you think you want to do it, you can too. Now we're going to cut our flower shape. So let's see. Maybe I want to make kind of a bigger, roundish one. Give it a few petals. All right. We're gonna put our scissors aside and the extra. And then we're gonna open it up and see what we got. Wow, that's kind of cool. So let's see what happens. So we're gonna separate them. Just like that. And we're gonna move our art colors. Now you're definitely gonna want a tray because this is gonna get messy. And once you do this, you cannot move them. All right, so we want these as flat as possible. I'm gonna turn them upside down to try to make them flat. So wherever you set them, once you start painting, you cannot pick them up until they're dry, okay? So what you're gonna need to do is get your paints out, right? And make sure you have a little bit of water. So get your paintbrush wet, and then you're gonna pick a color, all right? So maybe I'm gonna pick blue. And then you're gonna dab it on. Don't paint back and forth, you're just gonna dab to make the color. So I've got blue there, and then maybe I want a little bit of purple on the same one, so I can make this side purple, a little bit of purple and blue, make it kind of fancy. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other one. So, if you're gonna switch colors, make sure your paintbrush gets wet again before you switch into a lighter color suit so that they don't end up because if you use, what happens when you use blue and yellow, right? It turns green. So I'm gonna use yellow over here. And see how I'm just dabbing it? It doesn't have to be fully colored. I'm just dabbing on my yellow. Then I think I'm gonna use a little bit of orange. Whoop, looks like I didn't wash my brush off enough. I got some other colors. That's okay it'll still turn out right. All right, so now you're gonna let those dry. You go ahead and wash your brush, set your colors to the side, and let those dry, all right? I did a few earlier today. So these are nice and dry. So now I can carefully peel them up and off, let it sit there. Okay, remember, you don't wanna move these until they're very dry. Now we're gonna make our flower. So. Pick one flower to be kind of the center of your flower and one flower to be in the back. Um, let's see, you can set them next to each other. 
and kind of see what you would like. I think I want the blue in the back. So instead of just piling them right on top of each other, right, I'm gonna turn them just to the side. That way I see flowers. And see how these are going opposite directions? I want them to kind of flow the same way. Or do I want them opposites? I think I'm gonna go opposites. But you wanna make sure you turn it just enough that you can see the other one from the bottom. Now you're gonna put your fingers here. Mom and dad might need to do this. Fold it and then hold it and fold it again. Okay, so you make kind of this scrunched up little thing, right? Now what you're gonna do is grab your pipe cleaner and with that little scrunched up part that you just did, you're gonna wrap that pipe cleaner really tight. It may take a couple of tries to get it on, but there you go. And then you're gonna squeeze it and then you're gonna hold tight to the bottom and either you guys can do it or mom and dad and you're gonna carefully separate petals however you want to, just kind of have fun with it, but separate your petals to make your flower. So now you have a flower on your stem. If you make a whole bunch of these, you can make a bouquet for your mom or give them to your neighbor as a gift with a whole bunch of flowers. So have fun with your art today, guys, and I will see you on Friday.